What's up, everybody? I know you guys miss me. I've been uh, pretty freaking crazy busy, so I wanted to come back on here and do a um, video. Um, I'm still around. I just have a lot of shit going on. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone is... Um, Speaking positive things into their life. Um, affirmations are good. Affirmations are important. Um, your mind is a powerful place and you'll be surprised at shit as my cards go flying. Um, the good things that you can speak into your life if you keep the right mindset because then all that. Me personally, it's really easy to... Um, go back to the negative way of thinking and I was like that for a very long time and I um, am just now at the transition in my life where I can see the difference um, when I just have one starting the day off with one positive thing or affirmation is really helpful so I hope everyone is doing that and trying to um, stay positive even if though everyone you know if you're going through some shit because I know it goes like that sometimes so I'm doing some messages from the exes for all the signs, starting with the sign of cancer. Who's coming in for cancer and what do they want them to know? Who's coming in for cancer and what do they want them to know? What do they want them to know? So you have... The five of um, five of wands in reverse. So this could be um, a fire sign. Somebody who wants to um, <laughs> is avoiding conflict with you. Maybe they're trying to um, agree to disagree, kind of thing. There will be harmony in this situation for some of you. There will be problems resolved. They, what do they want you to know is the four of pentacles in reverse. So what they want you to know is that they are feeling like... They want you to know that you didn't waste your time with them. That it wasn't um, a waste of time. That you didn't waste your time. They just don't want to fight with you. Um... Possibly because there was some issues of someone not knowing what they wanted and was maybe a little bit all over the place with thoughts or actions. But there is happiness here for some of you. A good ending. So, on to Pisces. Who's coming in for the sign of Pisces and what do they want them to know? Oh, shit. Pisces, you have a, a fire sign, too, that was kind of, didn't know what they wanted, maybe, um, excuse me, a little bit impulsive with how they were kind of in and out, um, could be past energy, I'm not really sure if it's current, what they want you to know is that you make them really happy. And they want, maybe they see you guys getting back together or they want to get back together. Because there is love and support here. Scorpio. Who's coming in for Scorpio? What are they, or, yeah, who's coming in for Scorpio? What do they want them to know? Scorpio, you have possibly a um, Taurus individual, someone who, you know, is kind of stuck in their ways a little bit, perhaps, how they do things. Um, there could be some other reasons for the, the you know, acting the way they act. They think that this is how they should, whatever the case may be. It could be Aries. What do they want you to know is the Two of Swords in reverse. Um, 
they are really confused. They don't know what decision to make, but they want to compromise. There's just a lot of things that they're thinking about right now. And, you know, he has his hand out, but it's like these two people down here are make, kind of waiting for a decision. So he's like, go this way, duh, you know, I don't know. But maybe he hasn't made that decision. So um, moving on to our earth signs. The four of wands just flew out when I didn't even say anything. So there could be someone that's leaving a situation unexpectedly. So for our Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, what are the messages for the sign of Taurus? Um, who's coming in? Ooh. And where are then? Who's coming in is a, um, could be an air sign. Um, you have the nine of swords in reverse with the five of pentacles in reverse. So this, um... Excuse me. There's some healing that's going on right now. There from all these crazy anxiety filled thoughts for whatever. Um, I think that there's someone who is kind of taking a break. They're trying to recover from some things um, that had been going on in their head or their their life. What do they want you to know? Um, that there is improvement to this situation that they're trying to get better um that they still you know there's they're recovering and they're trying to um keep hope alive a little bit i think um but they're just kind of stuck in their head Woo! yeah as i said that the eight of swords pops out they're stuck in their head Okay, so for the sign of Virgo, who's coming in for Virgo? What do they want them to know? Okay. Virgo, you have... The Seven of Wands with the Fool card in reverse. So someone could be a fire sign that wants to fight for the situation. Um, maybe they feel like um, you don't want to be with them or because maybe there wasn't a leap of faith taken. There could have been some... Other shit going on, kind of carelessness with decisions, or maybe just not knowing what they wanted, but now they do know what they want. Um, I think that's what they want you to know is that they want to fight for this. Some of you, it could be fire. Mm -mm -mm. Who's coming in for Capricorn? What do they want them to know? It's way too many cards. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, who's coming in for Capricorn? What do they want them to know? Well, you have the Sun card, Capricorn. So someone that makes you really happy. Jesus. Okay, I'm going to have to take them because it must be. I swear to God, y'all have more than one person every time. Okay. <laughs> So there's someone that makes you really happy or maybe um, you make them really happy. Then you have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the King of Swords in reverse, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So these could be outside energies or what, or basically what they want you to know is that um, Maybe you were jealous and um, you gave up too soon or maybe they did because you felt like they didn't know what they wanted or maybe you didn't know what you wanted and you just felt like 
you know, it wasn't really going anywhere. Then you have the, well, the nut with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. It's like, there's like a major lack of communication and there's someone who's kind of, um, immature, kind of, um, maybe doesn't have a job, but I think that, um, you make them really happy. So now we have air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's coming in for the air signs. What do they want them to know? Six of Swords. What do they want them to know? For Gemini. What do they want Gemini to know? Jesus Christ, buddy. <clears throat> the Six of Swords is... Um, could be someone that you moved away from. Maybe they moved away from you. Maybe they're at a distance from you. Um, some somebody had to leave for whatever reason, or maybe this is just something you felt like you had to do because of the situation, or they did. Um, then you have the Knight of Cups in reverse. So someone who is kind of uh, immature, kind of codependent, um... Might have been some other people involved with the Three of Cups in reverse. Someone who um, kind of uh, was careless. They didn't know what they wanted. They were kind of in and out. And then um, you have this Four of Wands in reverse. So it talks about someone leaving a situation um, like abruptly without anything you know I think that's what they want you to know is maybe if they're in this other you know with this other person they're leaving them and then they're going to be sending you a message about um you know wanting to start something I think Jesus y'all have a lot of cards I was trying to do like two cards <laughs> not today I guess okay Libra you have Ace of Wands in reverse what do they want them to know? Okay. So, kind of a false start. Maybe somebody who was in and out. Something just kind of went like, and it was done. Could be a fire sign. Some kind of passionate. Oh, excuse me. There might have been some false delays. Um, someone might have been rejected. What they want you to know is that they don't want to fight with you. I think they're trying to avoid something in their life. Um, there might be some um, oppression. Then you have the Seven of Swords in reverse. So they fucked up, I think. Um, they got caught doing whatever they were doing. And they're trying to make things right with you. And I don't think they want to fight with you. <laughs> Aquarius. Who's coming in for the sign of Aquarius? And what do they want them to know? Oh shit. And again with the 50 cards, man. Okay. You have the five of pentacles in reverse. Could be an earth sign. Um someone who is trying to improve something in their life, maybe some recovering from something, but there is some kind of improvement that's coming, maybe because in the past they were... Excuse me. I can, I'm sorry. I'm so tired. Um, lazy and stubborn and self-absorbed and selfish and whatever else. Probably someone who didn't know what they wanted with the King of Swords in reverse. Um, there is this, I think what they want you to know is that there 
not able to move on they're you know what i mean um they're stuck they're holding on they don't think they want to lose you someone we were dealing with a scorpio <laughs> high priestess in reverse talks about blocked intuition not being able to see the full situation and that is that there is happiness here there's family um you know the family card where things are good but there is some um other like selfish and you know obsessive and behavior that comes with this but you do make them really happy i think and they want to get back together <laughs> oh shit mm -hmm. okay moving on to our fire signs aries leo sag who's coming in for aries and what did they want them to know Okay, Aries looks like could be five of swords in reverse. Um, so somebody who is not walking away from you, possibly an air sign. They're not. They might have gotten caught doing something. They don't want to fight with you anymore. What they want you to know is that they're working on themselves and their behaviors of you know kind of not um being able to control something in their life with the two of wands so you're kind of at a stalemate um maybe there are some travel issues but i don't think that they you guys are both kind of at this fear of change and you know in this stalemate <clears throat> Um, who's coming in for the sign of Leo? I wonder if they want them to know. Okay, Leo, you have a possible water sign. Someone that, um, is really empty. They're kind of depressed and disappointed. Maybe because this start didn't happen. What they want you to know is that you make them really happy. Who's coming in for the sign of Sagittarius and what do they want them to know? All right, Sagittarius, you have maybe a water sign with a lot of options, you know what I'm saying? What do they want you to know is that they're stuck in their head, they're thinking about you, and you're who they want. Like, they, this, you're their choice. Not bad, you know what I'm saying? Romance, angel, oracle cards, starting with the water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What are they? Ooh. Cancer, you have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Pisces. Shit. All right. You have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life and love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Scorpio. Shit. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And children. Your love life is being affected by children. And now we are on Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Starting with Taurus. Taurus, you have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Virgo, I 
What is the romance angel of the card for Virgo? Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. You getting engaged to a Taurus or no? Capricorn. You have flirts. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And you have playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Now we have um, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, starting with Gemini. Then the romance, angel, oracle cards, the sign of Gemini. You have to pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And this one's sticking out. Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. And new love, a, per a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Now we have Libra. This could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. Aquarius, what are your, oops, do, release your ex, the time has come to clear your energy, and make the effort, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take, for yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. Um, fire signs, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Shit. Sagittarius, you have children. Your love life is being affected by children. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Aries, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. And getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Leo, You have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Oh, and children. Your love life is being affected by children. So I hope everyone um, is having a good night. And I... Um, have some shit I'm trying to get done and once I do I'm gonna be back doing some more um, videos for my channel it's getting kind of hectic sometimes I have some other stuff going on um, starting a new job so I'm gonna try to make this stuff work but being that that's how life goes you know so I'm just trying to balance it all out and I will be back I'm just not sure if it's gonna be um, like you know on a regular schedule like usual I'm gonna do what I can so I hope everyone is good I'm sending you all like mucho love and light and um take care of yourselves have a good night